table. Yeah. Maybe do. Oh, yeah. 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 When we do. Rhythms and lasagna. That's it. But can we have like a lasagna? Lasagna and log, log rhythms and lasagna day. Oh, we are? You can only make one kind of lasagna. Yeah. Make multiple kinds of lasagna. That's just how. Pasta and sausage cheese is lasagna? what you can make. Vegetables, meat. You can throw a lot of things in there. That's yep. gross. You're made of what? lasagna. That's not true. It's how you make lasagna. You're made of lasagna. Then we'll do tacos and trigonometry. You know what's good? Yes. I hate tacos. We should go back to um, in first period. We should go <laughs> to pie. We can do breakfast tacos. We should go back to pie. You, you yes. know what we should do? And for pie day, we'll also have pie. You know what's really good? No, pizza. It's Barbies. Have you ever tried Barbies? Oh my god, those are amazing. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to show you how to find mapping um, to find your domain and range. So to do. You got all that right. We'll get it. Don't edit it. So when doing mapping, um, all mapping is is I'm taking like a group of numbers and I'm relating them to another group of numbers. So this is what we call a relation, and it's called a relation by mapping. And what it says is one relates to eight, four relates to seven. So very similar in the way that we write, you know, an x and y coordinate in a uh, in an ordered pair, or very similar how we would represent, you know, a coordinate point or using a table, right? So on mapping, we do the same thing, but it's very easy. A lot of times when we like, we always just write, it's a relationship between the domain and range. So if I want to figure out what is the domain and range when using a mapping problem, I simply can just take everything that's in my first circle as my domain, and then whatever it maps to as my range. So the domain for the first problem is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And my range is going to equal 10, 12, 17, 18, and 11. What? Zanya and log range. Perfect. Wait, when? Domain. Yeah, you're not in our class. Don't worry about it. A, B, C, and my range is going to be equal 4, 5, 6, and 7. And a lot of students miss out on the 6 because they say, hey, it's not mapped from anything in the domain, right? However, that 6 is still in my range circle, so therefore it's still going to be part of my range. I know it's not represented by any mapping term, but it's still part of my range. So this number 6 still is going to be a part of my range. So that's how you find a domain range when mapping.